Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome to another knife review. All right, the brand here is Veiski, and I'm most likely pronouncing that wrong, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to include a link for you in the description of this video. I really couldn't resist this because the price the price just dipped so low, $15, and I could also tell that it was a lot better than it looked in the pictures. Has very smooth, comfortable handle scales, true full tank construction. It has a retaining ring that you don't have to use that. If you have really big hands, you know, you're just going to be outside the ring. Or you could use that if you find it useful. Now this blade shape is a classic Skinner design with a large amount of belly. And it's meant for slicing through. It's like a butcher knife. It also can pierce very effectively if that becomes something you need to do. And most importantly, this came very sharp. Let's make a notch. I hope you're all doing well these days. The weather's getting better over here in terms of cooling off. No longer deadly uh, heat. However, we did have 24 hours of rain. That was no fun. So everything around the creek is still very damp. Alright, this is doing a good job. Got a little notch going here. Alright, so carved a little notch. Let's just do some whittling with this. This came surprisingly sharp. I had no problem with the edge. I did do the old paper test. I'll be rolling that in later, but first... Yeah, you could use this for a little whittling and carving, as well as skinning, cutting cordage. This is your basic Skinner slash outdoor utility knife. And for the price I paid, I'm very happy with it. Alright, so you can carve something. Now when I first got this, I did the old paper test, so I'm going to roll in that footage. I smoothed this out a bit with my Spyderco Sharp Maker. And now it's just extremely sharp. But yeah, I could tell that this would be a lot better in person than it might have looked in the pictures. In the pictures it looks small. It's actually not small. I have large size hands. This is a lot of knife for the $15 that I paid. Okay, YouTube, we've got extremely wet and damp conditions out here. But we're going to try to light up the hobo stove. There's my fire still. There's the knife. I use the hot spot method. Nice sparks. Yeah, nice sparking right away. All right. That was step one. Now let's uh, let's try to fire up the stove. This will burn very hot. Is it lit? It is. Okay. Now put this one out. Yeah, that's going to catch. You'll see. This is a powerful type of stove. I use this to brew tea, coffee, hot chocolate. Uh, I have a mug that fits over the stove and it will burn very hot. All right, it takes a little while. It will burn very hot. Yeah, so I'm glad they made the spine of this knife just that much more useful. It can strike can definitely strike a fire steel. You can uh, scrape, scrape with it. And there we go. Now the tip on this knife is actually extremely pointed. It has a lot of piercing ability. Yeah, this thing can go stabby if you want it to. It can definitely go hog wild. If it comes to that, if you need to uh, defend yourself for some reason, That'll do. Now, when I make these uh, chicken thighs, I usually just bake them. Well, first I cut them in half. Okay, so let's see how this does. Well, yeah, it cuts. <laughs> it's very sharp, right? So easily can cut these in uh, half. And I don't cook with oil. I cook with duck fat, actually, or any type of animal fat, right? But before I um brown them in the pan, I like to cut them in halves. I brown them up, and then I bake them through. I bake them through in an oven. This thing is sharp. This will clean cut. I don't usually cut them into quarters, but just to show you. 
yeah, this thing will lightsaber through. So just imagine these small hunks of meat. Imagine that that's something that you hunted or trapped out there in the field. Yeah, here is that chicken. Not bad at all. It's not the prettiest, right? But it's, uh, you know, baked chicken. And it's going to taste good. Okay, some utility functions of the knife. Because outdoor utility, slicing through a strap, cutting some cordage, another common task out here for a blade, easy. This is double thick, by the way. You see that? Double thickness. Here is the sheath that it came with. It's a pretty bare-boned sheath, not gonna lie. You know, I wasn't expecting much from the sheath for this price. But there it is. Okay, the sheath. First of all, it's, it's quite concealable because it's right here. Now, I am left-handed, but you're probably right-handed, so let's just pretend that I'm right-handed. Oh, sorry for the background noise. Okay, so that is the sheath on the belt. Right? It's a pretty minimalistic sheath, but it functions. Yeah, so the blade length is 4.3 inches, and the steel was listed as 7CR. But what you need to know is the steel is going to be fairly soft, and that's fine because this is just a slicer, basically. You're not going to chop, you're not going to split with this, so it is primarily a specialized slicer, and so the soft steel that's going to be fine for that, and it's going to be easy to resharpen, right? It's going to be very fast to resharpen this. So the uses of this knife would include slicing up pieces of chicken or small game. You can strike a fire steel with a spine. You can scrape bark. You can do a little notching or carve a tent stake. You can cut some rope or other cordage. So all in all, this is an excellent outdoor utility knife, as well as a skinner, and I definitely feel like it was worth the, the low price that I paid. So if you like uh, practical, informative reviews of all sorts of cutlery, right, especially a lot of budget-friendly stuff like this, I'm glad I found this. This is, a, this is actually a gem. But yeah, go ahead and subscribe to me, definitely. This has been We All Juggle Knives. I'm out.